Hey guys, welcome back to the Dirt Life channel. Today we are going to be talking about liquid fall aerations. My name is Nathan Tobias. I am the operations manager here at Yard Dogs Lawn Care. And today I really just wanted to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of liquid fall aeration. All right, so what is liquid fall aeration? Liquid fall aeration is basically a organic substance that we put into our spray tanks and we spray it onto the lawns. And a simple analogy for this would be kind of like conditioner for your hair is very much similar to what liquid fall aeration is for your soil. What it does is we spray it on and it actually helps soften up the soil and increase root growth and basically help your grass become much stronger, much greener while softening up the soil. We have humic acid with fulvic acid, ammonium lauryl sulfate and nitrogen. Those are the three main ingredients that are in the liquid fall aeration and it's quite simple. Basically soften up the soil, allow more nutrients, air and oxygen to penetrate and help that lawn get nice and green. The reason we use liquid fall aerations here at Yard Dogs is because firstly, it is extremely cost effective for us. The technicians are able to do $3,400 a day, $3,500 a day, comparatively to a mechanical aeration, it's quite a bit less. Another great benefit of liquid fall aeration is that there is no risk of spread or contamination of diseases. So here we have a big issue with chinch bugs. Uh, if you're doing a mechanical aeration, you could actually pick up these chinch bugs in your mechanical aerator, could be in those little cores. When you go to the next house, there's a good chance that it could actually cross contaminate from lawn to lawn. The nice thing with liquid fall aerations is we actually don't have any risk or chance really of there being a spread or contamination of diseases or infections in your lawn. So that's a really huge benefit for us here. The one last thing that's actually super great for liquid fall aerations, and this is my favorite, is production numbers. A guy can go out in the field and he can do 40, 45, 50 houses a day on liquid fall aerations, comparatively to a 15 to 20 houses a day on a mechanical aeration. All right, so a few of the pros of liquid fall aeration is that there's no mess. You spray it on the lawn, you get in, you get out, there's no cleanup, there's no little cores all over the lawn. It's simple and clean. Secondly, the other benefit is that it doesn't actually open up any holes in the lawn for weeds to germinate, which is one of the negative side effects of a mechanical aeration. So when you go and you spray on the lawn and you're not poking any holes in the ground like a mechanical, there's no chance of weeds to germinate. So that's another benefit. Thirdly, with the liquid fall aeration, you get a lot of errors or mistakes where we can damage irrigation heads um, by driving over them with the aerator if they aren't flagged. And that puts a lot of stress and strain on us as a company as well as on the customers they have to go and flag all the irrigation heads so it's really important to make sure that that's done if it's not there's a chance we could damage irrigation heads so with liquid fall aeration there's zero chance that we are just walking over the lawn and spraying despite liquid fall aerations having many benefits um, the mechanical aeration actually does have some benefits as well the biggest thing being is it actually does open up the lawn for the chance for you to do an overseed this allows you to go over the lawn after you've aerated and actually lay down grass seed with the high chance of that grass seed being able to germinate as it's actually filling in all those holes that you've just poked. However, the one downside to the mechanical aeration is that especially during springtime or early in the year when weeds are germinating like crazy, tons of space for weeds to germinate. So while it's great that you can put lots of grass seed in there and help thicken up the lawn a little bit, there's huge downsides with weeds being able to germinate in those holes. And the other downside of the mechanical aerator is quite simply the fact just it's a massive machine. It probably weighs about 300 pounds. It is very hard, it's tough labor. It's a big, heavy, clunky machine. There's lots of risk for damaging properties, fences, decks, patio stones. You have to be super careful with this machine because it weighs as much as it does. So that's a huge downside to it, fitting it through gates, tough, tight, narrow sideways down houses. That makes the job that should maybe only take 15, 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. So um, for us, mechanical aerations take up a lot of time, whereas the liquid fall aeration, you can get in and out of the house within five, 10 minutes with that hose and sprayer combination. So for us, it's just way more efficient to be using something that's super simple and effective like liquid fall aerations. All right, so as we're talking about mechanical aerators, this is our fancy little aerator rack. These are actually quite handy. They simply just mount up onto the back of the truck. 
Um, this ramp here can fold down all the way onto the ground, which is quite nice. Makes storing the aerator on the back of the truck quite easy. However, this is about 200 pound rack, so it's quite heavy in itself. And then the aerator is about 300 pounds again, like I said. So it is a big serious rig. It's big, it's clunky, it takes up a lot of space. But this is what we use for mechanical aerators. We throw them on here, strap them down with some ratchet straps. We also have some safety chains here welded on that go on just as a safety we're driving down major highways with high speeds so we want to make sure that our equipment's nice and secure so this trailer rack's been great for us it's been super handy and helpful however with the liquid fall aerations if we look over here we can see this is all it is the exact same equipment and machines that we use to spray our herbicide so this is way less mess way less space and it stays in the truck it stays the same year round which is nice we simply just have to clean out our tank and then add in the new chemical for liquid fall aeration so it's simple all they have to do is take the wand out and go spray at the hose comparatively to moving around a massive aerator strapping it up unstrapping it getting it in and out of the carrier this is quick and easy you turn the engine on you grab the hose and you start spraying so being able to spray liquid full aerations is just so much more efficient and effective for the guys. We're able to do so much more production. The benefits of liquid full aeration just are so much more vast compared to the mechanicals. So for us, it seems like a no brainer. For us, the results are even better than the mechanicals. So for us, it's worth it all the way. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Again, this is the Dirt Life channel. My name is Nathan, and I appreciate you guys coming in to watch.